All right, good day guys, welcome to another video. I didn't plan to do this video, but on my way back home, I'm on the North Coast Road, I think I'm in Trelawney, I'm seeing this sign. Stuart Castle Ruin. So it's very early in the day, it's not even noon yet. I have some time, so let me go and check it out. I'm excited. So this is the turn off, I'm guessing. All right, so let's see where this adventure takes us. It's okay. Dirt road right away. Oh, this this better be worth it. The road is rough. I'm seeing those signs there. So I think I saw some ruins, like a castle ruin in the distance in the bush. So I think, oh yeah, and I'm seeing another sign. So we're close. Oh, I see it. I see it. It looks pretty cool. Check it out. You're already seeing stuff in the back okay, there. So I'm walking right up to it. There is no one else around. There's a big structure in the back there, more squares, you know, more like a, a, a cube, like the bog from Star Trek. Then you have the ladder, looks like a house structure here. From what I could read online, most likely this was a three story, a cellar, a living quarters, and an upstairs. And as you can see, it's pretty, pretty, pretty massive. <laughs> It's a few hundred years old, but still standing. Yes, it's in ruin, but anything that's not maintained will eventually degrade. But the structure of the walls is still there. And look how thick. Where is it? Look how thick that wall is there. Wow. So I'm walking around to the back of it now. Some steps. You wonder the history of how many people and type of people that walk up into these steps. Whoa, there is a big cellar here. Let me show you. Looking down. Whoa. Deep. As you guys know, I lived some time in Tunisia. And yes, we'll call this a ruin. This is a really old building according to New World standards. In Tunisia, what was fantastic is that you would pass, you'll be driving home or driving down the road and passing structures that are thousands of years old. Here, we only go into the hundreds. Oh, there's a door. Let's go through it, shall we? Look at this. That looks like the main structure, the main house. And there is a wall that I think was around some kind of big courtyard here. Tree in the middle. I don't see no big structures in the middle here. So I'm guessing this was like a yard. I don't know. I'm just looking at what it is now. One of the reasons it was built up so strong like a fort is to protect against attacks by the maroons. Around the castle, you will see these little outlets. And there are a few in the walls. Most likely that was for defense purposes. But it's the other side of the ruin. Let me show you. This is a fortified cut stone structure that was owned by James Stewart who came from, to, to Jamaica from Scotland in 1754 and by 1756 he owned over 167 acres of land and we all know what that land was being used for right the castle itself was built around 1880 it is pretty old so like most great houses in Jamaica Stewart Castle is located on a hill so they could kind of get a good expands a good view of everything and in 1799 the estate was expanded to over 1200 acres that included quarters for around 300 slaves so it's big it's magnificent but we must never forget the kind of history that existed in these places so you know always pay mind to that oh man i got ah that's the thing there's a lot of thick bushes and i'm getting hooked up on woo and thorns. <sighs> we head back out. There is a Stuart town in Jamaica and that was started by the son of the guy who started this estate. He was also named James Stuart. They seem to have a lot of entrenched history in Jamaica, especially Trelawney. So I will admit I'm here by myself. It is a tad creepy. Yeah, all of these big foreboding walls and whatnot. So I'm, I'm, I'm freaking out a little bit on the inside, but I'm trying my best to still Still captured for you guys. So the main
main structure behind me. And as you see when I was coming in, there is this big cube structure. I read that there was also a fortified outhouse. I don't know if this is it, but it is smaller and it is outside. Who knows? So I'm in this structure here now. That's the sky. Look at this Aki tree. Ruins, Aki tree. Take a look at the fruit. And there it is guys. I love discovering things like this. I was basically just driving home, saw a sign and look what I found. Stuart Castle. This is part of the island history. Yes, some of that history is dark, but part of the history nonetheless. So if you're ever a little past Falmouth going to Ochi, still in Trelawney, you will see a sign, Stuart Castle ruins with an arrow pointing in. Be prepared for the bad road, but look at what you get. Can't complain too much, right? The only thing, as I said, is that it's a little bit frightening because I'm here by myself. But if you're with a group, that should be fine. Also, it's ruins and you've seen some big cracks and that kind of thing. So I didn't want to get too adventurous with walking inside too much and that kind of thing. You never know, it might be unsafe. So I stayed back as much as I can. But I still hope you guys appreciate it. I think it was pretty cool. I'm pretty excited about it. As always, thanks so much for watching the channel. Please, I hope you guys continue to support me. Remember to like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. All right? Bye.